Welcome back to another spooky project. This time, the crypt wall. <laughs> so these walls are kind of dual purpose, which most wall flats are, but one side is going to be for the cemetery and then the back side will be painted black for maze walls. With a quick backstory to the haunt, the people had just moved into the Winchester, so it hasn't been there for a long time. So they didn't want it all aged and cracked and broken up. They wanted them to look fairly new. Mm -hmm. Except for there's a cemetery out there. So well, it's got to be know. there for a while, you know? right? <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to overthink these things. No. So. <laughs> so this was good because they did have a short kind of already wall back in the day mm -hmm. that they had used but they needed something a lot bigger because the space that goes down this pathway in the Winchester they were going to create uh, the exit uh, to the haunt and so they wanted to have this big elaborate vortex tunnel so we yeah. made a big mouth for that which is cool and that's in another video guys can check out but on the other side they wanted these beautiful mausoleum crypt walls and lots of feet of them. Do you remember how long it was? Hmm, I don't. I want to say well, like how many, feet. what is it? Each flat is four feet? Yeah, I don't know. It's definitely longer than 16 feet. <laughs> I guess that's only four <laughs> flats. <laughs> Good one, babe. <laughs> I also figure out the price. <laughs> so about around 45 feet long. Give or take. We even made some crypt walls way back in the day before Hollywood Haunter. That's right. You guys, so back in 2010 and 11, we had a teeny tiny little crypt in our carport. Yeah. And the guy came in there. You guys, this is how Hollywood Haunter started. This guy came in here and he looked around and he said, what is this it? Oh, <laughs> he did not know what he was doing to us. <laughs> he was like, Oh my gosh, and so he created a monster in us, and that that's the story of how Hollywood Haunter got started. That's right. He didn't even know it. If it hadn't have been for that guy, we wouldn't have been here yeah, It's all his fault. It's all his fault. If I ever run into him yeah. again. He's going to show up to like a, is this it? You know, you build like the Taj Mahal. Is that this all you guys did? Yeah. So, but most of the mausoleum crypt uh, that we made in the past were just plantons and we would wrap them with LED lighting to for like a fun effect and then we even designed some to be jump scares. Yeah, we had a rattling crypt. This is a uh, uh, one of several crypts that we fabricated and screwed to the wall and then what we did is we took a couple pieces of chain and lagged them across so it would flop around and what they didn't realize is that this motion sensor was inside the wall panel directly across from this. When they walked past it, it set this off for three seconds. The cool thing was people would be looking at the end of the hallway wondering if that guy whose yeah. head turned yep. was real. So they weren't even looking they at the crypts. They weren't even paying attention. I'll show you a little test. Here we go. For this project, we wanted to create more of a realistic outdoor crypt, similar to the ones that you see in New Orleans. We love the style, it's got a haunted history. We even thought it would be cool to make a few of the small mausoleums close together as part of the wall portion. Like Gina was saying, for this particular project, they didn't want it to look too abandoned or run down. And I thought that sounds awfully familiar to Disneyland, Disneyland Haunted Mansion when they were designing that. They weren't real, you know, they weren't really yeah. wanting it run down and spooky, mm -hmm. but they, they, they wanted like, atmosphere. yeah, atmosphere. So we were like, oh yeah, that's right. They have crypt walls. So we thought the clean design that they used would really work well for our situation. Yeah. Less work too. <laughs> yeah, a lot easier to make them new looking, right? Thank you, Winchester. Hey, speaking of the Haunted Mansion, though, those walls are no more. No, they're not. Did you guys see that? Here, we'll put in a couple pictures. Oh, it's so heartbreaking. R.I.P. Disney Crypt Walls. R.I.P. Thanks Disney for the inspiration. Walls. Yeah. So we sketched up a quick idea of what we were thinking, but due to time and cost, we settled for a simpler design. We decided against having any of the small mausoleums, and we went with um, kind of like a real simple flat top uh, lots of crypts 
type yeah. of look, basically. Mm -hmm. Instead, you know, that way it's just haunt panels. They can use them maybe in different ways in the future. And to our advantage, there is a huge hedge bush <laughs> so we could leave a lot of the panels blank oh, yeah. we didn't have to do a lot of detail because it was going to be covered up anyway i mean we still had to age them but i mean we didn't have to put any detail in there for the construction we just framed these walls similar to other studio flat style walls we've made in the past except for with these ones instead of using the one by three pine boards we went with three quarter plywood we thought it would maybe last a little longer outside. Outside, yeah. Uh, and then after that, we skinned it with the quarter inch plywood. For the door openings, I attached a piece of flat stock across the bottom to give it support. And we usually tape it down if there's any kind of a chance of a tripping hazard. Do you remember how uneven this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you it had it like bad. lifted so high in the air at one time. And you're like, this can't be right. <laughs> Well, if you guys know what I'm talking about, when you're trying to level your walls, oh yeah, my gosh, that was, was crazy at one point. I was like, it's like four inches up in the it air. Was. It was. <laughs> there was shims. There was more oh shims than there gosh. were walls. We figured it out. You know, yeah. I think we moved it over and then it, it fit perfectly. But I was like, this is like floating. Yeah, I was like, who made this Winchester house here, man? This is great. This thing's out of whack. <laughs> like the mystery sidewalk. <laughs> level, yeah. yeah. After we finished all the walls, it was time to test fit them all together. We used quarter inch hardware to bolt everything together. After we made sure everything fit, then it was time to prep each wall and get it ready for the uh, concrete spray texture. So when I painted these, I applied dry lock first and that way it would seal the mortar mixture underneath. And then I did a base coat, which was the same kind of tan brownish color that matches the pillars, I think, right? Okay. It all matched, yeah. I think. And then so. I just aged it. So, you know, the watered down black, the watered down brown, green, reds, a mixture of that, shading all of the um, insides of the tombs to make it shadowed and more poppy, I guess, make it pop a little bit more. Yeah, it was it was crazy watching Gina do this because it was so long in our yard <laughs> and she was trying to outrun the sun, like, yeah. right? Because you yes. had to do the aging. That's right. It would start on the right side and go all the way over and I was trying to do each one. And the thing is, is you have to let it dry and then you have to go back and let it dry. I will go over these walls probably six or seven times before I'm satisfied with the runs and, and that. And the thing is, is when it's hot and it was, it was probably July or August, it was it was a time time crunch yeah and you were doing most of it on the ladders you know right oh, up and down you, up yeah. and down yeah. all 16 feet of it <laughs> <laughs> once we got to location we bolted all the walls together got them all shimmed up and then it was time to attach all the vines and stuff we want to make it look a little grown over right i love adding vines and plant it just makes it look like it sets in the scenery and the oh, thing yeah. is is it's so beautiful there and their garden is so green like vibrant green it just added to it and here you guys can see that from plain to viney now some of you might be wondering why we didn't put any names on the crypt and yeah. the reason why is because with the haunt theme changing it's always unhinged but they like to change their show so yeah. if you put like you know so and so that may not go with the story for another year or something so we just left it all plain plus those can always be added too if they, they can. ever mm -hmm. if there's ever a story we'd love to hear what you guys think this was one of my favorite projects that we did last year i just think it's so beautiful and it just adds so much so we hope you guys are inspired and we hope you guys go out there and make yourself a creepy crypt. Let us know what you guys think in the comments below. If you guys haven't subscribed, we don't say it often, but we would love for you guys to subscribe. We have a lot more projects coming and summer is coming and haunt season will be here before you know it. So definitely click that subscribe and we will see you guys soon.